I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes, that it may bear more fruit. Already you are clean because of the word that I have spoken to you. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever abides in me and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. If anyone does not abide in me, he is thrown away like a branch and withers, and the branches are gathered, thrown into the fire, and burned. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, ask whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. By this my Father is glorified, that you bear much fruit, and so prove to be my disciples. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. These things I have spoken to you, that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be full. Palimpsest. It's Greek, meaning rub smooth again, and refers to a manuscript or a piece of writing material on which the original writing has been effaced to make room for later writing, but of which traces remain. Some of the early copies of the New Testament in our possession are actually palimpsests. Someone in ancient times scraped off the ink to reuse the skin for another work of literature. With our modern technology, we can still see the words beneath the words. We can scrape and rub and then graffiti whatever we wish over it, but the words beneath remain. This is the task for each of us as a people who would speak of Jesus. We must see past the layers of well-meaning graffiti to the still legible and accessible reality of Christ. We must cut away old dead branches that would conceal and hinder vision and sight of the true vine that remains. And as we do, we suddenly realize that all along we have been connected. We know this vine. Its DNA has spread through us. Its fruit is evident in us. This is a primal picture for all people who would be speaking of Jesus. To go with the gospel of the Son means more than taking along a tract or even a Bible. It means we've learned how to make our home in Jesus. It means more than knowing about the vine or hanging around the vine. It means more than acting like a vine. It means abiding, being connected with the vine, being joined, we in the vine and the vine in us, the relation intimate and organic, it means, reverting back to the palimpsest, that the world can graffiti its values, its agendas, its doubts, its message all over me, all at once. The indelible word remains beneath it all, ultimately untouchable. As a branch, it can twist me into all kinds of distorted shapes, but it can never sever the connection with the vine. That connection remains in the protection and provision of the vintner's hands. And with irrepressible energy, we bear fruit. We live and we speak. <laughs>